talking to y'all the whole time with my headset on I didn't realize that y'all couldn't hear me and I mute the tab that the stream is on so y'all don't actually hear the echo because the microphone is really sensitive and it will pick that up Like literally, I've been talking to y'all about everything I've been doing for the last two hours. I can't believe that. And I have to check every stream just to just to confirm if you guys are hearing me or not. And I don't know what made me do that. Actually, I do know what made me do that. The, chant, the page I'm watching on my laptop it gave me an error message so I had to refresh the page and I unmuted the tab and I couldn't hear myself and I was like oh my god please tell me that y'all heard me for the last two hours everything that I've been talking about okay so as a recap on everything that I was saying Uh, I tried to mirror these domes after these domes over here. You guys can kind of tell that by the way I was panning the camera back and forth. I was explaining that. Um, cloud seeding project that we have going on right now. It's raining again. Nice. So as you can see, the water from the rain is starting to have the planet going crazy with the bloom. All the red area that is shaded in with red or yellow, that is now viable, fertilizable ground the areas where it's green as you can see we're starting to get grass and bushes and stuff the bushes create seeds seeds will be used by the forestation buildings here uh, so what I was trying to say earlier we're gonna need to do a huge forestation project next the reason why we were doing these two domes today was so that way we can kind of fix our population issue. Um, we were having some real problems with all of our domes being really, really full. colonies that we just accepted, right? Actually, I'm going to land this. I can't actually land this over here. I don't have a landing pad for this over here, do I? Oop. That's fine. Set that down there. And then I have another ship over here that I need to land. What is in here? Nothing. Ooh. Maybe, 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 sorry, maybe, maybe I do need some, uh, New the lasers over have here. Arrived. As you can tell, I spam lasers everywhere on my map for the exact reason of the, uh, there's no power over here, is it? 
I'd have to run a separate power grid just for this laser. It consumes 10 power. I might be able to get away with putting a... Uh, You offer 10, you offer 40. I'm just going to put one of you here. Yep, put that there and then he'll have power. He should be able to protect the ships that are sitting up here. Wow. I. I am so sorry guys. I guess I'm gonna have to start doing that audio check before I start every stream to make sure that you guys can hear me. I literally did not realize y'all couldn't hear me for two hours. I've been sitting here talking to y'all about different things. Uh, I had a conversation about you guys about what's going on with Topic Tech and the dark side notification that we just got from um, in Discord. So, Dark Side. Well, let me start. We are Summerfeld. Our Summerfeld company is currently playing on a non dedicated server. Um, I've been loving it a lot. I've been grinding a lot on it. A lot of the most recent videos that you guys have seen or the live streams that I've been doing that's from our new colony that we've been. Uh, setting up, we got our own island, we're building up, we get defenses, we're getting stuff done. And the reason why I've been grinding so hard is because I know once the, the Dark Side RP server opens up, uh, half of our company is going to disappear. And, you know, that's going to kind of ruin it for me. Because I can't play Dark Side. And you're probably saying, well, why can't you play Dark Side? Well, I play on a console. I play using my Xbox. And Dark Side does not support Xbox because it's going to be modded. Their RP server is modded. Believe me, I would love to play Dark Side, but I just can't because it's modded. And with that being the, the case, most of the people that are in my company, they're going to want to go and play Dark Side. They're going to disappear. And I'm not saying they're going to jump ship, but what I'm saying is their their ideal is to play Dark Side. They want to play Dark Side. And uh, I get it. I'm not saying that I, they can't go and do that happy for them if they want to go it's just gonna kind of suck because then either I'm gonna be stuck with the current server that I'm on which is a PvP server as a solo player with a huge island and a company that I'd have to basically manage on my New own colonists have arrived colonists are departing and, you know, I don't know I am a bit worried about that just to be honest I don't remember why I left this here. I'm going to get rid of it now. Here they come. Ten colonists that just landed up here. Hey, what happened to the ship? So you guys got off the ship and the ship just took off? That sucks. Oh, there they are. Forty people just departed. Wait, where are y'all living? A 
Okay, I am definitely gonna have to do some things. There are not supposed to be tourists in this dome. Yes, tourists. No. What about... Get, get, get out of the dome. You. Forks. No tourists allowed in that dome. So where are you guys living and where did y'all just come from? Why do you need more domes? It's 138 out of 504. Auto save. Ah. Uh, so yeah, just to finish what I'll say. Once Dark Side opens up, Dark Side is expected to open up in March. And it was funny because I I kind of mentioned this in one of my live streams that I don't think ever got officially recorded with the audio. And I was saying that if Dark Side were to open up, let's say March 1st. You know, a lot of people that are either playing, well, actually, a lot of people that are playing official PvP, they're going to disappear and go to Dark Side. Last year, when Dark Side was running, they were averaging 3,000 users per day. Sorry about that. I'm trying to fix my nephew's toy. Controller. Bye-bye. Ah. Now, pick it up and close my door, please. Close my door. Bye-bye. All right. So, once Dark Side opens up, like, last year they were averaging over 3,000 people on their servers per day so half the pvp between eu and na are going to move to dark side especially if they're playing on pc 
even a lot of the people that are on non-dedicated servers and a lot of the non-dedicated RP servers are going to disappear because, you know, everybody's going to run to Darkseid. And I get it, you know. I enjoyed watching Darkseid last year. Actually, I learned more about the game of Atlas just watching the Navy play Darkseid. And I ended up, you know, meeting a lot, like, I, I ended up, you know what I'm saying, getting to know a lot of people that were playing Darkseid. Like, I got to know a lot of the people from different groups, um, a lot of the, the whole RP aspect of the game, uh, a lot of the PvP aspect for, like, ship battling and stuff. Like, there was a lot of things I didn't know you can do I learned from watching Darkseid. Like, I, I didn't know, like, if you use your repair hammer to smack something, you can smack it multiple times, and it actually repairs it faster. I did not realize that you can do that until Venilus, uh mentioned it one day when he was teaching some new recruits how to do, to, uh, how to uh, be Boseman. He taught them, you know what I'm saying, if you see, like, a, if they get harpooned, with a harpoon gun because it was something that they they had to deal with last season that you just use your hammer and you smack the harpoon with your hammer and then that's how you get the hammer dislodged and get the harpoon dislodged from your ship no like i didn't know that i didn't know that's how you do that and then one time we were playing with hc we got harpooned i pulled out my hammer smacked it and we got we got freed and i was like you know what I would have never have known to do that unless I was watching Dark Side. <laughs> I would have never known to do that unless we were watching Dark Side. And you can hear people in the group like they were like, "Oh, we got harpooned! We got harpooned!" And then all of a sudden, you know, we were free because I smacked it with my hammer because <laughs> I knew exactly what to do. You know, I learned how you can jank the wind. You know drift back and forth to get the ship to keep going especially when you're trying to set up the pvp on a ship battle you jank the wind going back and forth doing figure eights you know what i'm saying silhouette eights and then you swap cross their bow and then come back and then you get your broadside making sure you're pointed in the wind and i was like oh i didn't know i can do that i know you do that too I learned all that from Darkseid. <laughs> so. I learned everything about Atlas. Mostly everything from Atlas by watching Darkseid. Okay, go put that back. Usually I pause the game to do that, but I didn't that time. So I'm 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 pretty worried. You know, I, I I really don't think we're gonna get to do the Kraken or the Power Stones or any of the things that I'm like really really looking forward to doing because I think that Dark Side is just gonna take everybody. I, I have a bad feeling we're not gonna get that chance to get everything completed. And I mean, some of my clan members probably don't have a problem continuing to play with me you know but if they're playing on pc the the better solution would be to just move on the dark side plus our clan leader he's the only admin we don't we can't add people to the group we can't remove people from the group and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, if he decides to move on to Dark Side, we're gonna need somebody that's gonna take over that that position, that leadership position. I don't know who it's gonna be. See, none of this stuff should be covered in dirt. Why is all this covered in dirt? If we have Tesla coils over here. Why are you putting 
waste rock over there. Oh. I see why. You pick up the waste rock and you just set it to the side and then somebody else picks it up and they bring it over here. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, I get it. Alright, never mind. Wow. All that time. Like literally, I've been talking to you guys for hours. I can't believe you guys do not know. Well, this is almost full. You guys have actually almost put 10,000 waste rock in this box? That shouldn't be the case, because that's not supposed to be full. What's going on over here? How much is in here? 6,000 is in here. Where are we at with our atmosphere? Because basically what they're doing is they're, bur they're burning waste rock and turning it into atmosphere. I think the atmosphere was at 80%, if I remember correctly. Wow, those YouTube videos are going to be interesting. I wonder how I'm going to edit this. <laughs> For real. Because I kind of don't want to chop it up without the audio. New and again, I kind of need the footage. Colonists are departing. So, that may be a bit interesting, my guy. I wonder because kill me spoke to me earlier and I spoke back to him and he asked me how was I doing and I assumed that he said that because he could hear me but could y'all actually really hear me I'm gonna have to watch the VOD back I'll just do that tonight. I'll just watch the VOD back tonight anyways. I gotta watch the VOD anyway so I can get clips for Instagram. So how does this work? Oh, so they're increasing the vegetation of the planet by just being in that. Oh, they are actually, look at that. Look at that. There's hardly nowhere on the map where it's just not booming, right? A little bit like right here, where there's no no red, but for the most part, like a little bit over here, there's no red. Everywhere else, it is blooming like crazy. So that is the next major project that we will definitely be doing on our next live stream, which will be next week, next Saturday. Actually, I might show you guys and then come back and show you guys how it, it planned out. Because it's, believe me, it's going to take a long time. Basically, I'm going to show you what I have to do. And this might seem kind of stupid, but this is what I have to do for every building. Uh, let me start down here, because I already got stuff down here.
or a station building. All right? Attach it here, the back of the building. Here's a universal depot. Take this. Get a C depot. Stick it right there. Once this is built, which is not going to take long at all. Oh, I, that's right, I need a power source. For this one, I'm going to cheat and do that. <laughs> if it's close to somewhere where I can get free power, I'll just do that. Now for this, turn this off, make grass. Meteor incoming. Oh, we've hit the 35 water percent. Nice. Go ahead and do that. Like a that. And what this will start doing, it will now start putting trees and shrubs around the area. So now those hexagons overlap. That one's here. This one also is here. They will overlap. And then when I put the one here, it will overlap this on this side. And you'll start seeing it like already, like right here. It don't take that long because the grass has already like got some fertilization in it because of the water, the rain that we've been getting so much of lately. To do it really quickly. You can see this is already starting to turn green. Already. Uh, there's your first bush. Watch it grow. Look. It's growing as we watch it. So we have to do that for every one of these. <laughs> All of them. Every last one needs one. And that's how you cover the whole planet with trees. Put one next to every last one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are interrupting what I was trying to do. But as you can see, the hexagons are everywhere, They're covering everywhere. The reason why there's a big gap right here, I want to put our mega city right here. There's a water source over here already. Whoa, 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 whoa. where's the leak? Wait, wait. Come on, auto save. I need to fix that. Thank you. Where's the leak? Over here. He's already fixing it. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It's already been done. So you can see how that works, man. We're gonna cover the whole map. Trees, grass, and shrubs. Everywhere. I was gonna try and do it like a certain way where like down here in the valley it's really heavy and thick trees. Look at that. How quickly that turned all this into grass.
And that's only with two forest station buildings. Yeah. That's only with two forest station buildings. And you see how they just pull the seeds out of the boxes? Look, look, look at that. They're just fetching seeds out of the trees. Okay. Put it put it in the kitchen. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. fetching the seeds out of the ground. See, now they're actually doing a lot of work. Okay, I'm gonna need a couple more of these. Now I'm gonna die. that one. What's up here? Oh wow, both of these are gone, huh? New colonists have arrived. Colonists are departing. Yeah, because I don't want to accidentally destroy the hub. Don't need to do that. But I do need to get rid of this stuff. I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. And I don't need you anymore. Poof, 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 poof. One more. Kapoof. All right. Now I need to stop the game because they're gonna try and build this. I need to stop them before they do so. One. I gotta delete this one first. I know it's on even concrete, idiot. Point. And now it's all even. Nice and flat. <clears throat> and there you go. Now y'all can continue. Look how blue this water is, dude. Beautiful. Really beautiful. trees. You should now be putting down trees. Are you set for trees? You are. You are set for trees. New colonists have arrived.
forgot to change these. Oh. Uh, I technically don't need seeds anymore from these guys. These guys can't even grow seeds anyways. We'll just make them all grow fruit. Fruit trees are the most plentiful food in the game. Uh, other than like livestock. Livestock brings you in a whole bunch of food. Uh, it seems that you guys are hungry. I think that's going to be it for shortage. me. It is four o'clock. I want to take a take a bit of a break, and then we will be back later tonight with some more Atlas. I gotta finish putting up the defense towers, and then we need to go and we need to ferry over some more. Good. Look at this. I think we don't need any more machine parts. <clears throat> What are you bringing in? Polymers. Polymers. Yeah, keep bringing in polymers. I don't think we, we have a problem with machine parts anymore. How are we doing on concrete? Uh, we're getting low on the concrete. I should fix that. I just haven't done it yet. So we're starting to get low on the concrete extractors. Actually, I think they're all done. Yeah, all the concrete in the low in the bottom two sections are done. It's only concrete at the top. Right? Concrete at the bottom. Oh Well dang. I didn't even know this one was gone too. I don't want to accidentally destroy the, the turbo fan. That'd be bad. Uh, let's flatten this out. Boom. Nice. All right. <clears throat> We're doing good. Get that back going. Let's do a couple resupplies on some palamets. That technically is our only issue at this point, and it's polymers. It's our only bottleneck. We're doing good. We have 5,000 machine parts, 1,200 electronics, 5,000 metals, 7,000 fit. Ah, concrete, actually. It's getting low. But it doesn't actually really matter with the concrete because we with concrete, we can use waste rock to turn into concrete. And because this has over 6,000 in it, and this one over here has 10,000 in it, right? This one is going to be the first one to go. 
100%. I'm going to take that and I'm going to probably create some kind of a concrete system out of the waste rock and convert it all. I just haven't done it yet. I want the atmosphere to be done first before I go to doing that for like next. Even this, like this has 3,000 concrete in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have places where there's concrete in the store. How much is in here? 6,000. Yeah, we, we have lots of concrete. Lots of concrete. I just have to put in the systems that would convert the waste rock into concrete. 2,000 there. It's little bits here and stuff like that. Another 1,400. 3,000. 1,100. That's really, really small. But you, you kind of are getting the picture, right? We can just get it from other places and convert it. We can, can just convert it into concrete and use that to, to trade for concrete. Technically, we don't even need to trade anymore because I could just buy it. You have so much money, buy it. Alright guys, thank you guys again for stopping by. Again, I am Soulful of Soulful Size Gaming. Hope you guys did enjoy this afternoon's early live stream. Like I said, we'll be back later with some more of Surviving, well not Surviving Mars, but we will be back later with some Atlas. Uh, like I said, I have some defenses to finish doing and then we need to ferry over a bunch of NPCs so we can get our, our defenses fully set up around the planet. Uh, another problem with uh, Atlas, I haven't learned everything yet. And I need to get stuff learned so I can be able to craft stuff on my own. They're gonna be interesting because I can't put these everywhere. Uh, where is it? Floor station building. That only reaches it there, right? The mountain along here is still going to be somewhat rugged. I don't know if it's gonna turn greenish. It really just depends on where the forestation plants go. So we'll see once I get to that. But uh, I'll probably do that off stream and then I'll bring you guys back the next time we stream. Then again, I might be doing a whole bunch of Atlas stuff, so you probably won't touch this until next week. You can actually start to see where the, the ground is starting to get its natural green pigment on its own. Yeah, it's starting to get that natural green pigment. We have a food shortage. No, we don't. <clears throat> we do not have a food storage. Stop saying that. 
Yeah, but where are the four buildings that are damaged? And they should have been repaired even if they were damaged. <clears throat> I really don't. I don't even see which building they're talking about. New colonists have arrived. Colonists oh, are well. departing. We've gotten pretty far so far, actually. And yeah. We got what? Dang it's six domes down here? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. <clears throat> six domes in the tourist zone. Plenty of room. I actually need to add another tourist only dome. Like, this is supposed to be a tourist only dome, right? I set it so no Martian borns can be in this dome, right? Only people that are supposed to be in this dome are tourists. Also, this is the only dome with a casino in it. The only one. Why? Because I don't want my people to have a gambling trait. Even though they get it. Actually, before I go, I do have one last thing I want to set up. I'm going to do that right now. There's one last wonder that I wanted to kind of put in. I'm going to do that before I get out of here. Oh, we can do the Geoscape Dome now. That's cool. Project Morpheus. I want to put it in a nice spot. <clears throat> Actually, I might put this down here. This will be a cool tourist attraction, right? Ah, oh, I guess it did right there. We have a food shortage. Y'all quit saying that we do not have a food shortage. Take it right there. Let's see how fast they can build this. Polymer factories, four automated polymer factories, uh, a Hawking Institute, and five shuttle hubs? Yeah, they probably don't have fuel. There's 
that I, I need to get rid of that because I don't even know what it is. Um, that's fine. I'll keep those three. Those two. All right. So we've got the Project Morpheus going in. Uh, this building will be. Uh, yeah, it doesn't tell me what it is. So I'll give it a few more minutes, see if we can get this done before... How many do they need? Oh, they need over a hundred of everything. Okay, never mind. We'll finish that on the next live stream. <laughs> It'll be there once, when I come back next time. And I'm noticing two of my domes are already overpopulated, so we probably are going to have to put down some more domes also. I'm just saying. You're overpopulated. And you're overpopulated. Four hunts. There's no more vacancies in this dome. And they've already had 200 children. 201. Okay. What about this one, my guy? There's no more living spaces in here. And there's only nine nursery slots. That's ridiculous. It's 367 children that were born in this in this dome. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to create a children's dome and kick all children out of all of the domes and put them in their own separate dome. I'm probably going to span that up here. I'm going to probably put a giant big dome, mega dome, and fill it up with just nurseries for kids and then have some satellite domes attached to it that all they're gonna have is just only schools 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 and the only people that live in those domes are children once you become like uh, a workable member of society you go and find yourself another home because you can't live in there because there's only gonna be nurseries in there I'm gonna fill the dome up with nothing but these. We have a food shortage. see them just traveling back and forth between two different domes that is so cool man they're getting there they're not almost there all right, guys. Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate you all. I really do. Thank you for sticking it out with me this e this afternoon. Even though I don't know if you guys can hear me for the first two hours of the stream. But, uh, yeah. 
I definitely don't want to use just the last hour. I need the whole footage. Everything. This is cool. Can I get some trees? Where are the trees? No trees yet? Why is that look like that? It's getting there. It's getting there. Alright guys. Y'all have a wonderful Sunday and I will catch you guys later on this evening with some more Atlas. Peace out guys.